Recently, I found out about a 3D printing company based in South Korea called Gluk, and I was intrigued by the 3D prints they were showing on their website. So I reached out to them and they very kindly sent me one of their resin prints to take a look at. I was pretty blown away by the quality and large size of the print. It's an SLA resin print. The first thing you'll notice is the outstanding print quality. Just look at the detail in its resolution. Just amazing. Next you'll notice the size of this print. It's big and actually a little larger than a life-size human head. According to Gluck, this print took about 17 hours to complete. Which sounds pretty reasonable to me, considering the size and the quality. I should also mention that the original file for this model comes from a company called 1024. It's one of their premium HD head scans that were produced using the photogrammetry scanning process. That's where you have a hundred or more cameras positioned all around an object, each taking a snapshot at exactly the same time. These photos are then processed to produce a 3D model such as this one. The layer lines can barely be seen with the naked eye, and can really only be seen on smooth surfaces. This was printed with a layer height of 80 microns. Comparing the print with the original 3D model, you can see the skin textures have been softened a bit but it's still very, very good. I'd say it's picked up about 90 to 95% of the uh, textures that were in the original scan file. The only thing missing really are the, the absolute super fine textures. I'd also like to do a few comparisons with this print. Here's an FDM PLA filament print I did use in my printer. This is using exactly the same 3D model as our resin print here. My print was done using a 0.5 millimeter layer height and it took about two days to do this little section. It actually came out better than I expected, but still it does have visible layer lines and some parts that didn't print as well. I also compared it to some head casts of real people. Uh, for the, those of you that don't know what that is, uh, a head cast is a, a process that's used a lot in the makeup effects industry for movies. Uh, the head's covered in a, a rubber-like substance which picks up every fine wrinkle and pore of the skin, uh, which produces a negative mold, uh, and into that mold, plaster or some other type of material is poured to produce a duplicate of the person's head. You can see here that... Uh, the amount of detail it picks up is, is very sharp. As you can see, compared to a good quality life cast, the surface textures aren't quite as crisp and pin sharp as, as they could be. It's almost as if the model was made of wax and has been heated ever so slightly just to soften things a little. I think it could be down to the fact that scan files can be very large uh, so in order to print it uh, a little downgrading is sometimes necessary. Of course with 3D scanning and printing the result is only as good as the quality of your scanner and your printer. This resin 3D print was made using an extremely good resin printer and also very high quality scan data. A less capable printer and lower quality scan data will produce very different results, as seen here. This was printed on my FDM filament printer from a much lower quality scan. The lines in the scan here are caused because the model probably moved slightly when the scan was being done. This was done with a more of a handheld type scanner. And also the, the resolution of the, uh, the FDM print here was um, a little lower as well. All of these things result in a, a printout of greatly reduced quality. At the moment, super high resolution and large resin prints are only possible on much more advanced resin printers. 
but we are now seeing more affordable and very good printers becoming available. So I think it's only a matter of time until this really high-end level becomes available in the commercial desktop printer marketplace, which will be very exciting. So this video was just to show where the state of the art is right now in resin printers. I think in a future video, I'd like to use this print to demonstrate some of my own molding and painting techniques. I think it would be fun to try and do a realistic skin coloration on this print, um, just to explore the pros and cons of painting 3D prints. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.